everyone, and welcome to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. Wendy has spent the last two years helping women with various stages of endometriosis to heal naturally after putting her condition into remission. After her own healing success from stage four endometriosis and adenomyosis, she's inspired to heal others, and her goal is to help some of the 175 million women know that there is another way other than painkillers, drugs, or surgery. This is the place to be for real talk with real people for real results so you can learn how to heal your endometriosis naturally. Please note that the opinions expressed in this program may represent options but are not a substitute for proper medical care. Before starting any new healthcare program, we recommend you consult with a health professional. Hi, my name is Wendy Laidlaw. I am here with uh, Candice who has um, just completed the Heal Endometriosis Naturally um, advanced program with me. Hi, Candice. Hi, thank you for having me. Yeah, well, thank you again for coming to speak to me. Um, I know you spoke to me um, a couple of months ago when you did the foundation program, but I'm so pleased you've come back to chat to me again so I can have a, have a wee chat with you about how you have found um, the advanced program. But for, for anyone um, who's just watching this for the first time, you know, you've been through the 12 week foundation program. And um, some people, I think, obviously expect that to, you know, to, to help them, and it does help some women. But how did you find the foundation program, and why then did you feel the need to um, progress into the 10-week uh, advanced program? Well, I would say the foundation program was like exactly how it's titled. It's a foundation program. So it, it gave me a lot of key points of things that um, the directions that I wanted to go in. Um, but I wanted to do the advanced program because I felt like there was more that I still could learn and work on. <clears throat> and, um, I was excited to see what else I could possibly learn to relieve my symptoms. Um, so the foundation program kind of set the, um, tone for like your diet and, um, looking out for the ingredients, changing out like even toxic products, like your shampoos, your soaps, deodorants um and introducing some supplements that would help and the progesterone cream i decided to do the advanced because i really wanted more guidance on the progesterone cream and in addition other supplements and things that could help um, relieve even more symptoms and focus more in depth about diet and the emotional component was huge for me the deciding factor to also move forward as well yeah absolutely and, and so in the, in the advanced, we go into a lot more detail, don't we go into much sort of, sort of deeper levels, really kind of build on the foundations that are there. So, you know, we talk about the, as you say, the other toxins that are in the environment and your workplace, you know, from your cell phones and, and things like that. And then, of course, the big one, the toxic people. Yeah. Um, so, so how did you, you know, you mentioned the emotional component and for anyone that might feel a little bit freaked out by that, how, how what would you say to reassure them how the program addresses those aspects um i was actually <clears throat> surprised on how the how more in depth we get on the focus of the emotional component which i really liked a lot because i feel like the emotional component really you can't you can't ignore the emotional component when it comes to your physical health and i've come to learn that um but i think that we start digging into things like your core beliefs and we get a lot of support and guidance. And when you're working on those things on your own, um, you tend to not do them because it's easy to put that wall up and kind of back out and not continue with working on yourself. But with this advanced program, you have someone kind of keeping you um, focused, um, uh, relying on yourself, making sure you're doing what you need to do. Um, so it's a good way to kind of recenter you and you have that extra support, which is absolutely necessary. I feel when you're working on your emotional component, there's a lot of support with the Voxer app that I, I found I got um, a lot of support. The Lionel Goodman call was an excellent um, portion of it. And I think that was one of my favorite parts of the advanced program was doing that. It was an awesome experience and it opened my eyes. Um, and I actually feel a lot lighter since I've done that. So it, that was a really cool part of it. I really enjoyed that. And you learn different techniques too that, um, I mean, I, myself, I'm in therapy and counseling, so I know a lot of those techniques, but, um, I learned more in depth about them too. 
So it's a good way to get the support that's needed when you're dealing with your emotional health in addition with your physical health. So I found it to be very useful to do the advanced program. Well, that's good. And, and you mentioned Voxer there. So, so explain to people who, who don't know what Voxer is. How, how, what is it and how did you find that as a supportive tool? Oh, I love it. It's a cool, it makes me feel like a, a kid again. <laughs> the Voxer <laughs> app is basically, um, it's almost like those walkie talkies that you had when you were a kid. But um, whenever you have a question, sometimes you get busy and you forget to email it, you know? Um, so if you ever have a question or you're going through an issue, I can just simply press a button, speak into it, and it voxers it over to Wendy and I get a response back. Or I can even voxer my other fellow group members, um, which I found supportive throughout this whole process as well. Um, and it's just kind of a neat way to keep in touch with each other and um, so you don't forget you know, when you have a group call or a one-on-one -on -one with Wendy, you uh, can ask her a question in between or if there's something that you forgot or, you know, um, it's a great tool to kind of keep in touch and really stay focused in the, in the program. So I, I loved it. <laughs> well, good. I'm so glad because I, I love it too. And, um, and I think as you say, it's, it's a great way because we live in such a fast paced uh, society but to remember to write down something to then email about it later just is far too much mental effort. Whereas you could just voxer and, and, and then you can just hopefully get, get a response back as well. And I think, you know, again, the voxer system and, and, and things like that keeps, helps keep you accountable when you're moving through the, the program because everybody does hit walls every now and again and everybody does get a bit despondent and, and exhausted and tired and a bit kind of, oh, this is not going to work for me and overwhelm. Mm -hmm. So these tools are the, the types of tools that you can use to reach out to get the support that you need when you're going through it. Absolutely. It, it definitely helped me uh, stay accountable because <laughs> I tend to procrastinate um, sometimes. And, you know, working two jobs, like you said, everything's so fast paced. Um, the Voxer allows me to kind of, um, if I'm, thinking of something right then in the moment I can ask it and having the group support in the advanced um, program and your support throughout the whole time kept me accountable and kept me going into this process even deeper once you learn that routine you can kind of almost be okay with doing it on your own you know what I mean so I think it's essential to do the advanced in the fact that it gives you more time to really like incorporate these routines and, and really sew them into your brain to ensure that you're, you're doing that on your own too, yeah. you know? That's right. Cause there's a lot of changes to be made and they're, they're really essential and really important. But when you're trying to make these whilst living your daily life, it can sometimes feel a bit difficult. And that's, that's where the support mm -hmm. is key, isn't it? So when you, um, I sent you your first initial application form. So that's six months ago now. And when you look at that and where you are now, what, what change do you see? A lot. Um, I think when I wrote that application out um, in the beginning, I was so desperate to do whatever it took. And I've tried other, other avenues. Um, I've done other um, naturopathic ways. Of, I've tried to research and do stuff on my own. Um, obviously I've been to tons of doctors, had surgery, all that. And I, and I told myself I refused to do another surgery. I refused to do Lupron and I refused to have my uterus out. And I was getting to a point where the pain was coming back really intense and everything I was doing just wasn't a hundred percent working. <clears throat> um, so there, I, I just rereading the questionnaire. I can see a lot of despair and, um, like, please pick me. <laughs> um, and the changes that I've noticed now is I feel a lot more grounded emotionally. Um, I was going through a really tough time emotionally at that point. Um, and I think I have learned a lot about myself. Um, there's always room to grow in that avenue, but I've come a long way with that. And I've noticed a, redu a reduction in my pain. Um, I'm more strict with my diets. I, I, I learned that I need to snack more throughout the day, this kind of opened my eyes to where I was like, oh, I'm eating all the time. And when you're doing the food journals and things like that, you notice like you're really not. Um, so that kind of kept me accountable too, making sure that I'm snacking and 
of, I notice a decrease in bloating. Um, my periods are lighter. Um, blood clots have reduced. Um, there's still more for me to do, but I'm on a path where I know that if I keep doing what I've learned, I know eventually I'll get to the exact spot that um, you were at, Wendy, for sure. Well, that's yes. wonderful, wonderful to hear because you have been through a tremendous amount and we won't go into detail now in this interview, but you know, we'll, you'll write your story one day and you'll yeah. write your book and, and people can read your journey too, but you've been through an incredible amount and that's, you know, that's, that's really important to filter that in. So the fact that you've made the changes and you've kept committed and you, you carried on is, you know, full credit to you in, in that regard. And because it can be hard making these changes, so you do need to kind of, but as you say, you know, so how do you, I mean, I say, you know, you're on the right path. How do you now know that? Because I can hear it in your voice. You have a confidence now that you didn't have perhaps at the end of the foundation program, you kind of knew this thing worked, but you didn't have enough deeper knowledge, but you do now know now. So how, how why do you know? I think I know now more because I, I feel like, um, especially going through the advance, there was a lot, like I said, a lot more focus on the emotional stuff. And that is a huge piece. It really is. Um, you kind of learn to trust yourself more and be, when you become more aware of yourself and emotionally you become more aware of yourself physically as well. So I can now feel into my body a little bit more and I, I'm learning to trust myself um, a lot more. So when I'm stressed out, I'm like, you know what, maybe I need to add um, more progesterone cream in the morning and at night. And I'll know when I need to do that. And it's helpful. Um, and, oh, I, I'm in tune with if I'm feeling bloated or sick, I'll check the ingredients and be like, oh, I accidentally had some wheat or, you know, I'm learning to kind of trust my body and listen to the symptoms more <clears throat> um, instead of getting like, hopeless, like, oh, I'm never going to get better. Um, I have more of like, oh, this is why I feel this way. And I just go back to the basics and start again. So I feel like I have a little bit, a lot more hope than I even had at the end of the um, foundation program, just because you go more in depth with um, the toxic people, your toxic diet, um, supplements that you can take. I found that, um, even in the foundation program, when we did the intolerance test and the nutritional deficiency, that was a big eye opener too, um, of things that you need to constantly be working on. And I had the added support that I needed to um, work through those intolerances and the deficiencies in the advanced program. That was another huge reason why I wanted to get that extra support and guidance um, with the advanced. So I feel like I've, I've, I'm learning to trust my, my gut instinct a lot more through this whole journey, which is huge and important, I feel. Well, absolutely. And, and it's, I can hear it in you, you know, as, as we've been moving through the, this program, I can really hear the confidence that you have, the relationship that, it sounds an odd thing to say to have a relationship with your body, but women with endometriosis, when they start into this program, um, they don't like their bodies, you know, their body is this, this painful alien thing that they just hate and to then develop a relationship with it because you're now confident in listening to the signs and the symptoms and any pain and try and figure out like the detective what it's telling you yeah. and therefore you might and equally whereas now I can hear that you know what it's telling you but you also have the power to know how to help it to support it which you didn't know before and if you you know going through the advance if you did have questions or you did feel insecure or you did feel worried then you could book search you could email come to the group calls hear other people so you've got that ongoing support to be held accountable and and not feel insecure by by the, the yeah thing in your body yeah and the constant you know and just the reinsurance that i found i got throughout this whole process has been very helpful because, you know, you still do get, I'm not going to say, oh, I've never doubted myself and what I'm doing. I, of course, I've, I've had those moments, but um, this allows me to have that support where it's like, this is a journey. You need to trust your instincts. You need to journal about what's coming up for you. Um, so I like to nag that, about that a lot, don't I? Yes, but it's a good nag, though. <laughs> <laughs> Because I can tell, I can just tell when people are journaling and when they're not. There yeah. is just this air, there's just this tone, there's just this, you know, 
aura almost over the phone or over Skype, you can just tell because the insight, because when you've been journaling and you, or rather when you've been resisting it and then you've <laughs> journaled, how much better have you felt? A lot better, lighter, uh, freer, insightful. Um, and you know, it's helped me connect a lot of the things and just even noticing core beliefs, it helps you kind of drudge all that stuff up and, you know, I do find that I actually hear your voice often saying, you need to do this, you need to do this, you know, so it, it again, it, it's that accountability piece that, you know, a lot of times we get resistant in doing things, even with our diets, like, oh, I don't want to eat like this, it's annoying, everybody can be normal but me, but it's like, um, well, who's to say eating like all that garbage is normal, you know, like we're actually built to eat the stone age diet anyway we weren't built to eat mcdonald's and um <clears throat> all these fast quick processed foods and um i think that's why a lot of people are sick and ill but they just never are aware of it so this brings awareness to all these um changes that our bodies are really supposed to be made to do anyway you know yeah. um we're not made to handle all these toxic things and even like your phone um, learning the the amount of radiation and how that affects your body is tremendous. So I've learned a lot going through the advanced um, program, especially emotionally, for sure. Yeah, no, that's great. I mean, it's it's been lovely to watch the growth in you, and and I think when you've been unwell and you've had have the had the things that have happened for you, you know, and emotionally and family and work and things, even more do you need the support. Um, to, to, to kind of just hold the space and hold the place as you're moving through because it, it is it takes a bit of you know mental um willpower and determination just to keep going when you feel like giving up and and that's what i what i like to pride myself on these programs is kind of being there like the cheerleader on the sidelines going mm -hmm. don't dare give up on yourself <laughs> you know i've been there you got to keep going so yeah, so yeah. I was going to say, so what, so what would you say, obviously there, there will be some women who finished, um, they, they are about to finish the, the foundation program. What would you say to those women that, you know, some women will have, will have got the results that they wanted and some haven't yet. And they might be feeling a little bit despondent. They might be feeling, oh, it's not worked for me or whatever like that. What, what would you say to those women um, if they're at that stage and about sort of considering the advanced program? Um, I would say if they're at the stage where they feel like it, it hasn't really helped and that that's your body indicating that you really need to go further. Um, yeah. you know, even at the end of the foundation, I still was struggling quite a bit. Um, but I knew that there was more that I needed to do and my health, I had a lot of other health things involved with the endometriosis and, um, it was essential. And I think a lot of times with endometriosis, there's other things that stem out with it. So if, you know, you feel discouraged, that's just your body telling you need to press on and continue doing this. Um, cause there's more underlining things that you need to address. Even if you are doing well, I would yeah. say, I would encourage people to continue to do it because you still learn more on an advanced level. So even if you are feeling better, you can learn more and imagine how much better you would feel just even incorporating the new things that you learn. So there's always room to improve your health um, every single day, emotionally, mentally, spiritually. Um, so I would encourage whether you feel good or not to continue to do it just because there's so much that you continue to learn and the support that you get throughout the process is, um, is, is, is great. I can't even, <laughs> put words to it really no oh, well, I'm so glad that you you felt that that you've had that because that, that that's always been my aim because I know when I was on my journey I was very much alone and it was it yeah. took me a lot longer it took me two and a half three years to get to the levels you know that you were at and things and it was very disheartening and my goodness you know life's so fast paced people don't get endometriosis you know it's a fight in its own you know it's a fight by itself without not getting the support of people who know where where you're at the pain you're going through the the growing pains you yeah know, the, of, of making the adjustments which you know every now and again you want to throw the rattle out the pram and have a stomp and, and have a quivering bottom let them go it's not fair and i don't want to to do this and having people know where you're that where you're at and, and to take you through but um 
so yeah, I mean, so what, what would you take away from the foundation program? I mean, you're, you're planning on hopefully, you know, going to the coach university and becoming a um, heal endometriosis and actually practitioner in due course as well. But what, what will you take away from, from the, the foundation and the advanced programs? Do you think what learnings? Well, I definitely have taken away a huge part of journaling. I know I, I um, it's funny because I tell my clients as a therapist to journal every day, but it's like <laughs> one of those things like I tell you and not for myself. <laughs> um, but I've, I've learned how important journaling is. And now I really like try to shove it down my client's throats because I know how insightful um, it can make you into your, into your getting to know yourself. Um, I've learned so much as far as like, um, diet is concerned. I mean, I knew a lot about diet before, but this really kind of like embeds it in your brain of the importance of looking at ingredients. And even if you think something's gluten-free, um, it's just amazing to even look at some of the ingredients. You're like, Oh, I can't have that. And, um, the, the tools of the progesterone cream, the serapeptase, the, uh, the vitamins that I incorporate on a daily basis, the importance of healing your gut um, with juicing has been huge. Um, I try to juice at least twice a week. Um, I would like to get to a point where I do it every day because I think it is super beneficial. I always feel so energetic after I, I um, juice and I actually notice an improvement in my sinuses, um, which I, str I struggle with that too. So juicing is so um, good for you. and the power protein shakes <laughs> have been a huge um, thing that I will take away from this. The importance of protein. Um, I learned so much about that um, with your hair, your nails. Um, it, it makes me feel fuller. And for the days where I'm really have a lot of stress and I have so much going on, I like to at least have my protein shake, if nothing else. Like, I, so those are the big, tools that I put in my bag now. And I know if I'm doing these basic things that I have a, I have a chance at being pain free. And I can always now tell when I'm falling off the wagon, <laughs> my body will tell me. So, and that's another thing I've, I've grown to really listen to my intuition a lot. So. Well, I think exactly. And that, that, that's, that's a big shift, isn't it? That's a big change because before when you were in pain, you didn't want to listen to your body. You wanted to disassociate from your body and switch off from your body and distract yourself with busyness and things because it felt too uncomfortable, too scary. But now you have knowledge of your body. You know your body and you know what to do if it does make a sign or a symptom or whatever. And then you also now know what to do. You have that confidence. And yeah. I think that's what, what I really hear from you from the advanced is although we talked about all the other toxins and Wi-Fi and environmentals and sick building syndromes and all these other things that we talk about, now you have this relationship with your body because you've also dealt with some, you know, you've touched on some emotional aspects as well, but you really feel comfortable now with your body. You might not necessarily like it sometimes when it's saying and doing certain things, but you have, I think, more of a compassionate nature and, and relationship with it. Uh, where yeah. it's almost like, I, I, I refer to it as almost like a, a child. Sometimes a child needs attention and it has to do things to get attention. If you look at a sort of a four or five or a six year old child, what the child, what they do to get attention, they're kind of like, hello, can you hear me? Can you see me? Yep. And then ignore them, they shout louder. And that's like what it's like with the body. I yeah, think. absolutely. Absolutely. I think this program also helped me, um, you know, going through the process of going through school and, and um, be, being a, a counselor and a therapist myself, there was always the, um, you know, getting to know your inner child. Um, but I always kind of ignored that for myself. And I feel like this um, program has kind of allowed me to connect with that voice of myself. So that, yeah. that's been huge. That's yeah. right. Because we talked about the, the, the parts and, you know, yeah, there's the various parts of you that, um, that also need to be heard as well. And again, that's where the journaling comes from. That's yeah. great. We can see you again now. It's also got a bit dark there. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, it's about the storm. So the sunlight yeah. died out. <laughs> <laughs> well, Luke, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. Um, you've just done so well yourself. You've 
I mean, from where you started, from where you are now, I really hope that you do take the time to reflect on how far you've come and really acknowledge how you've had some real dramas, some real emotional testers come through your life, but you've carried yes. on. Yes. The, I, I, don't, I don't know where I'd be at right now if I didn't have the support of um, the group. I feel like my health would be in very grave danger I feel like I'd be very like exhausted and just like I, this program helped me to make some huge decisions um for my health and you know I'm grateful for that yeah and you're on the right path now that's it that you're on this path for life and sometimes getting onto this path it was hard to leave that other path because that's all that you knew but when you have a path opening up that you actually go, do you know what? This makes sense. My body's liking it. Emotionally, I'm liking it. I've got other little star dust on the horizon there that I, you know, things I want to do. And you get the support in doing that then. Yeah. The only way is upward and onward. But yeah. thank you so much for taking the time to speak to me. I really appreciate it. I know that other women will find it really inspiring hearing your story and I'll help them too. But you just keep doing what you're doing. Thank you. Thanks for listening to Heal Endometriosis Naturally with Wendy K. Laidlaw. And I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and rate us. If you're interested in learning more, you can download your top five jumpstart tips at healendometriosisnaturally.com and jump on the VIP email list. Remember to keep you number one. The world needs a healthy you.